If you want to create a simple AM Angular navigation component to browse between pages, in this quick tips episode, you will learn how. Keep watching. Hi there. I'm Manuel Gutierrez from thelighthouse.co and I make videos that help you learn about different programming topics like AM, Docker, TensorFlow, Unity, and more. So if you're new here, hit the subscribe and the bell notification buttons below so you don't miss a thing. Let's start. In the first video of this series, I showed how to create a basic AM component using the Yeoman generator, also with the Angular part of the component. In the second video, I showed how to create the model and explained the different configurations required for the Sling model exporter. So in today's video, I'll focus on creating a simple navigation component using the Angular router to link to different pages inside AM without causing the browser to refresh the page. As before, for creating an Angular AM component, we need at least four things. A simple AM component with a dialog and a Sling model using the Sling model exporter. An Angular component and an entry inside the app module.ts file. For creating this AM component, I am going to use the Yeoman generator again to do that for me. I am calling it interesting content and I am making sure that the names for the folders and component group match my current application's configuration. I am specifying that I want to use the Sling model exporter. After the generator starts running, I will specify that I want a sample path field to be generated. I will use it to store a URL. Let's log in into AEM and create a couple of pages below the homepage. They will serve as the list of interesting pages that we want to browse to. Let's inject the resource resolver, import it, create a variable for storing the list of interesting pages, When the model is being initialized and if we have a parent URL already set for the component, adapt the resource resolver to page manager, get the page given the URL, and if it is a valid path for a page inside AM, get the iterator for the list of children and transform it into an array of pages. Don't forget to import all the used classes. Finally, create a getter for the list of pages. Open the model for the interesting content model. It should be located inside the core module below the folder for the model's package. You can see that we have all the required configurations for the model exporter as we configured them on the previous video. Let's use the Angular's CLI to create the component for us. Open a console or terminal inside your UI.frontend folder and create the interesting content component inside the components subfolder. Inside the Angular project. On the CSS file, I will add some styles I found on specyboy.com. Finally, remove the tests. Open the TypeScript file, which should have a simple Angular JS component already created. Let's first add input 
to the list of imported objects from the Angular core module and the import for the map to helper library from Adobe. Create an edit config for when the component is empty. Then on the component, add the property for interesting pages using the input annotation. Finally, we call the map to helper function that maps the Angular component to a particular resource type inside AEM so that AEM knows which AngularJS component to use when rendering our page. On the HTML, add a UL element, inside it a LI element, and iterate through the list of interesting pages. Finally, in the anchor HTML element, specify the router link with the path and title of the page. This will allow us to navigate to different parts of the application and load them without refreshing the page completely. Then, inside the app module TS file, given that the component has already been imported, just add it into the entry components array. Let's build and deploy our app. Go to AEM, open the homepage, add the interesting content component, edit it, set the parent URL, and click on save. Go to preview mode, click on the first page, click back on the browser, click on the second page. Awesome, congratulations and Thanks for watching. You can join the free mini course associated with this video by clicking on the link in the description below. Share any comments or suggestions about the series or future topics. And if you like the video, also hit the like button below.